Hey guys, it's Brie. So it is Thursday the 30th of July, I'm pretty sure. And I just started my period. Um, I've got a pink lemonade liner on and it felt kind of damp, so I just checked it and sure enough, I've started my period. It is just gone past 12 o'clock and I'm just cooking myself some brunch because I don't know about you, I'm awful with breakfast. I'm never really hungry in the morning. Or I am hungry and I don't feel like breakfast food, if that makes sense, like cereal or fruit or toast, something like that. So I'm just giving myself some pasta and pesto now, it kind of be like a brunch sort of thing. All I've got to do today, I think, is work. I have a chiropractor appointment and I think that's pretty much it. I'll have to check my diary. But uh, yeah, I just vlog my day for you. This sold my issue of what video I was going to do this week though, so that's very useful. <laughs> so while my pasta's cooking, because my period only just started, I really need to go to pee, that's why I need to change my pad. Um, I'm just going to put on my Novel Red 8 inch light flow pad because I know I'm not going to be heavy for a little while and I'm not going to put a cup in just yet, I will later on. Um, as of right now, I'm not really cramping, I've got like a dull ache in my back, which is unusual, usually I get my cramps in the front, this time they're in the back. Um, but it's not really a cramp yet, I have been getting like waves of kind of dull aches, I guess you could describe it. And they're not really cramps, not what I would call cramps compared to what I like I have had. Um, since yesterday evening, um, about six o'clock I think, I went to go and buy some thank you cards for people who gave me birthday presents. And um, yeah, like when I was driving I realized I've got some very faint aches in my back and my front, but nothing really painful. I did take one year of in last night because I feel like when I'm going to sleep, I'm more nervous than anything that I'm going to get my period. So I figure if I just take one ibuprofen, then, because I have woken up in the past with really bad pain, that's why I get nervous. So I just took one for the sake of like calming my nerves. I didn't start my period overnight, but I guess I have now. Um, I'll be interested to see how I go on, because it's when I get heavier that my cramps tend to get worse. Um, as of right now, I don't need any pain meds. I might just take another magnesium tablet or something like that. But yeah, this is... Good sign so far, so fingers crossed. So now it's around 2 o'clock and I've just come up to do some work. Then after this I have to go to my solicitor's office to drop off my passport so that they know I am who I say I am for buying my uh, uh, flat. And then I have a, I said before I had a chiropractic appointment and I've just booked some babysitting for tonight so maybe I'll get to do a live event and vlog some of it with you guys. Um, who knows, but yeah, you will you won't see that until after this, until after that's done. But yeah, I'm going to post something about that now, get the work done, have some lunch, and see what the hell I can do next. But one more thing, I did just have to take another um, pain pill, another Neurofen, because my cramps have started to intensify a little bit. They're not dire, I mean, I had I did have an, a lavender hot pack basically on my back. Uh, that's how my pain is this time, it's really weird. The bleeding has started to start a bit more so I've just put my ruby cup in now and I'll leave that in I'm kind of nervous about tomorrow because I've got a uh, gymnastics coach trying to teach me how to do a no-handed cartwheel or a side aerial because I've never been able to do one before and I'd really like to go back to dance in September being able to do one but uh yeah let's see how my cups hold up for that it is half past three now my cramps have actually got really bad I didn't finish off the um orders I got monster for me because they're they're pretty bad now um so i came back to bed it i took one year at 12 and i think another one like half an hour later so i can't take any more i'm gonna call it at four o'clock i think can't take any more near until four o'clock i did just take two paracetamols but paracetamol is pretty useless with me it just it just does not work unfortunately um it's taken the edge off which is what i was hoping for so now i've already got little waves of cramps to deal with I still can't really do anything. I think at four what I'm going to do is I'm going to take naproxen instead of Nurofen because that should be stronger and it should hopefully work a bit better. For the moment I'm going to soak some castor oil into a flannel and put it on my belly and put a hot water bottle over the top of that because heat does seem to be helping me today. So might as well try I heard somebody say you shouldn't do this when you're on your period because it's supposed to like make your periods heavier or something. I don't think they said make it more crampy. I've seen people recommend it for cramps. I'm not worried about making my period heavier. Like, it's already... It's reasonable. It's not too heavy already. So it doesn't matter if it gets any heavier. But, like, I'm just gonna... I definitely saw somewhere somebody mentioned doing this. I just hope I haven't done it too much. Because I've done it every other day this week, I think. Or almost every other day. And it obviously 
has like ricin in it which is why you shouldn't use too much of it um yeah i'm pretty sure it's the ricin there's something in this that means it's not good to have too much of it um which why i shouldn't soak it for longer than 20 minutes but i'm just going to try it out now and see if it does anything well i tried the castor oil and uh, i think it definitely did make a difference it's now almost 5 30 so i did take some more well i took some approximate around 4 30 i fell asleep before that and um that's now kicked in thankfully so i'm not having any more cramps um i'll be fine for babysitting i'm not worried those boys are really good to look after and um yeah they're not they're not bad i think they're just annoying it won't go away if that makes sense i usually have one period of time like four to six hours which is particularly bad that i have to focus on taking medication for I'm not really surprised I've got a more painful period this time because last time I was taking that Shatavari um, substitute, I am still taking it, but there was a period of time when we went away to Rhodes um, that I packed, well I thought I'd packed a pot of it and all my medication, I completely forgot it so I didn't have any magnesium or any um, of the Shatavari for four or five days I think, yeah around four or five days and um yeah i definitely felt it i had pain in my chest in the mornings when i was there um and we couldn't find any magnesium that was in a pill form so i couldn't take it very easily and uh so i and that was exactly around the time i should have ovulated so i wasn't taking it to control my ovulation or anything like that um i, I had taken it since then pretty regularly in fact i think i've taken it almost every day since every day since um, and doing some of the uterine massages and stuff but uh, yeah I did forget it for that period of time so that might have made a significant difference as to why this period has been more painful than my last one it's still not dire like I'm still not thinking oh my god I'm going to throw up from the pain and uh, as I said now it's completely managed so um, I'm going to take some I took naproxen so I'm going to take the naproxen with me to the babysitting house and I'll also take some paracetamol for the kind of interim hours if it gets bad again i still got my ruby cup in but I'll probably take that out and uh, either reinsert it or go onto a pad afterwards I'm not sure yet Hey guys, so it's 8.30 now and I'm with um, the boys that I'm babysitting one of them doesn't want to go to sleep because I can't sleep no um, but I thought I'd quickly show you while I'm here what I bought with me so when I go babysitting when I'm on my period, what I tend to do is I just like grab two packets of medication. I grabbed one packet of paracetamol and one of Nurofen. Haven't had to take anything yet, um, but hopefully I, well, I probably will need to take something later. And hopefully when this one goes to sleep, I'll be able to do a live event. Um, I just bought with me my little um, Eco Soa mini wet bag, and this just has two pads in it a Mimi's Dreams and also a. Uh, so sweet creations, I think, from Erin. Can't bother to open it right now. And I also bought some sweats with me just in case it gets cold. But that's pretty much it for the moment. So I've just let one of the boys hold the camera. <laughs> hold it that way. Don't press any buttons. So if you want to zoom, you slide that button here. Hang on, I'll hold it. That's it. Pull it towards you. There you go. Do you know what that is? We were playing with that earlier. What was it? Um, a board when you like try to um like that's a board when you try to um that's a board when you try to like um guess stuff like like um when like when somebody tells you to do something then you can do so it. I told like, you like, like you can try to do it like if it's you money, don't know it? yet to like guess and put each one up and if you do know it's like easy and you know which one so you put them on so basically i told you how to make 15 pounds you had to put the bits on that white bar the board didn't you yeah. and your brother got very hard ones because he's older yeah <laughs> can you tell how old are you uh do you want to say how old you are you can say yeah. how old you are i'm four and three quarters and my brother is seven and three quarters i yeah. mean also seven, almost seven and three quarters but seven and a half if I flip my camera up, you might be able to see me. I can't show you. Yeah. Can you see me in that? <laughs> What's on the table? Lego. Lots of mess, that's what it is. Yeah, I, I was about to build that, but 
just didn't have enough time and also um, there's there's almost no Lego pieces. Hey guys, it's Brie. Ooh, let's get focused. Hey guys, it's Brie. So I'm just um, currently doing a live event now and you can probably just see, if I turn this round, me talking a while ago. Here are some of the lovely people I've been speaking to. Say hi to the camera guys. Just asking all their questions. So if you ever want to join me for one of these things, you need to follow my Instagram really because I kind of post things on there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you what I've been up to. So it's like half past 12 now and I've just got back from babysitting. I'm going to end the vlog here. Sorry if it wasn't very interesting today, guys. Um, really wasn't a lot of stuff. I was too ill to go to the solicitor and to my chiropractic appointment, so I just went into babysitting because um, I felt better by then, but I wasn't well enough midday. Um, so yeah. But I hope you still enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.